Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Joe Wurzelbach. Good to see you, Joe. I'm getting ready to buy a company that <laughs> yeah. uh, makes 200, about 250, 270, 80 thousand dollars a year. All right. Your new tax plan is going to tax me more, isn't it? Well, here's what's going to happen. The uh, if you're a small business, which you would call, yes. uh, first of all, you get a 50 percent tax credit, so you get a cut in taxes for your health care. So you would actually get a tax cut on that front. Mm -hmm. If your revenue is above 250, then from 250 down, your taxes are going to stay the same. It is true that for say 250 up from 250 to 300 or so. Well, here's my question. Well, hold the on, so I, I just want to answer your question. The, uh, so the uh, so for that additional amount, you'd go from 36 to 39 percent, which is what it was under Bill Clinton. Yeah. So the uh, and the reason we're doing that is because 95 percent of small businesses make less than 250. And so what I want to do is give them a tax cut. I want to give all these folks who are yeah, bus drivers, teachers, auto workers who make less. I want to give them a tax cut. And so what we're doing is we are saying that for folks who make more than 250, that that marginal amount above 250, they're going to be taxed at a 39 instead of a 36 percent rate. Well, the reason why I ask you about the American right. dream, right. I mean, I've worked hard. I'm a plumber. We you know, I, I work, you know, 10, 12 hours a day. Absolutely. And I'm, you know, buying this company and I'm going to continue to work that way. Right. Now, if I buy another truck and add right. something else to it and, you know, build the company, right. you know, I'm getting taxed more and more. Well, you're fulfilling, you're fulfilling the American dream. So well, you're, here, but here's, here, here's, here's, here's a way of thinking about it. Um, how, how long have you been a plumber? How long have you been working? Uh, 15 years. Okay. So over the last 15 years, mm -hmm. when you weren't making 250, you would have been getting a tax cut from me. So you'd actually have more money, which means you would have saved more, which means that you would have gotten to the point where you could build your small business quicker than under the current tax code. So there are two ways of looking at it. I mean, one way of looking at it is now that you've been more, become more successful. Through hard you, work. Through hard work, you don't want to be taxed as much. Exactly. I, which I understand. But another way of looking at it is 95% of folks who are making less than 250, they may be working hard too. Yeah. But they're being taxed at a higher rate than they would be under mine. So, so what I'm doing is, you know, project, put yourself back 10 years ago when you were only making whatever, mm -hmm. 60 or 70. Under my tax plan, you would be keeping more of your paycheck. You'd be having lower taxes, which means that you would have saved and gotten to the point where you are faster. Now, look, I, nobody likes high taxes, no, not right? Of course not. So, but what's happened is, is that we end up. We've cut taxes a lot for folks like me who make a lot more than 250. Mm -hmm. We haven't given a break to folks who make less. And as a consequence, the average wage and income for just ordinary folks, the vast majority of Americans, has actually gone down over the last eight years. So all I want to do is, I, I, I've got a net tax cut. The only thing that changes is I'm going to cut taxes a little bit more for the folks who are most in need. And we'll, we'll, for the 5% of the folks who are doing very well, even though they've been working hard, and I understand that, I appreciate that, I just want to make sure that they're paying a little bit more in order to pay for those other tax cuts. Now, I, re I, re I respect the disagreement, but I just want you to be clear, it's not that I want to punish your success, I just want to make sure that everybody who is behind you, that they've got a chance at success too. Well, and, it, seems like you would be, it seems like you'd be welcome to a flat tax then. You know, I would be open to it, except for here's the problem with the flat tax, the, uh, is that if you actually put a flat tax together, you probably, in order for it to work and replace all the revenue that we've got, you probably end up having to, to make it like a, about a 40% sales tax. I mean, that's it, the value added, making it up. Now, some people say 23 or 25, mm -hmm. uh, but in truth, when you add up all the revenue that would need to be raised, you'd have to slap on a whole bunch of sales taxes on it. So the, uh, and I do believe that for folks like me who are, you know, have worked hard, but frankly, also been lucky, yeah. um, I don't mind paying just a little bit more than the waitress who I just met over there who's things are slow and she can barely make the rent you know because I my attitude is that if, if the economy is good for folks from the bottom up it's going to be good for everybody if you've got a plumbing business uh, you're going to be better off if you've got a whole bunch of customers who can afford to hire you and right now everybody's so pinched that business is bad for everybody, and and I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. But I, listen, I, I respect what you do, and I respect your question. And the uh, you know, even if I don't go get your vote, I'm still going to be working hard on your behalf because I want to make sure small businesses are what creates jobs in this country, and I want to encourage it.
All right. Here, here, here. Now, the, one, one other thing I didn't mention. Uh, for a small business people, I'm going to eliminate the capital gains tax. So what it means is if, if your business uh, succeeds and let's say you, you know, take it from a $250,000 business to a $500,000 business, that capital gains that you get, uh, we're not going to tax you on it because I want you to grow more. So you're actually going to get some. You may end up, I'd have to look at your particular business, but you might end up paying lower taxes under my plan and my approach than under John McCain's plan. I can't guarantee that because I'd have to take oh, yeah, a look no, at yeah. that. All right. Thanks for your thanks. thanks for the question though. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.